Hi, so for this week, I'm going to, again, go over the same prompts that we were given for the prior weeks. So some of the important definitions that I thought um, this week covered would be um, emergency preparedness, which um, if I would, were to define that in my own words, I would define it as, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, being prepared for emergency. Um, the text defined it as pre-impact activities that establish a state of readiness to respond to extreme events that could affect the community. So that was a super important term this week. Um, and another one would be emergency response, which would be like what come at, what comes after the disaster. So when a disaster occurs, how are you going to respond slash how is your community going to respond? Um, it's also pretty self-explanatory. Um, another one that I thought was interesting was in one of the articles about um, preparing children or how prepared are children for disasters um, was the child-centered disaster risk reduction, which is also known as the CCDRR. Um, and it's a new approach that involves fostering um, children and youth, both in groups and as individuals, to work towards making their lives safer and their communities more resilient to disaster. Um, I thought that was interesting, and um, I also thought it was one of my like muddy points of the week. Um, I had never really thought about how children and youth should be more prepared for disaster, because like, if their parents are in an accident or something like that happens um, and they need to take control, it's really important that they know how and feel confident and comfortable in knowing how to do that. So um, some things that I found in the text that I thought were really interesting when it came to that um, would be um, there was an example of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami um, and the largest number of fatalities were women and those under the age of 15. Um, so that was, like, one of my muddy points, which was also one of mine last week about how, like, gender and um, age can play a role in how a disaster affects you. So, um, like, women and children are more prone to being affected by disasters than others, which I still think is so interesting and something I never really heard of before. Um, and then I read something else that said, research tends to assume children are passive victims with no role to play in communicating risks um, and participating in decision-making process or preventing disasters, which makes sense because kids are kids, but then that goes back to the child-centered disaster risk reduction, um, which um, tries to make children and youth more aware and more prepared when a disaster would occur. Um, and then it also said that like none of the more, none of the more recent theoretical models or guidelines um, for good communication practice um, focus on children and youth, um, which is an important thing when it comes to disasters. So this week I felt like was a lot on being prepared for disaster and what kind of happens when it happens, like emergency response, all that kind of stuff, which I found really interesting. So something that I would ask the class would be um, how prepared do you feel if a disaster were to occur in your city or like do you know any local programs that are put in place already for a disaster if it were to happen um and i think that would get a good discussion started so yeah